We're here at Austin Comic Con with Brim of Hound Comics, talking about all the various titles he has going out. Basically, uh, we're actually the only independently owned and operated comic book in every single Barnes & Noble, B. Dalton, and Book World in the country. It's Brimstone and the Border Hounds. Um, it's uh, Marvel, DC, Dark Horse, sometimes IDW, and Hound Comics. Uh, it's a very big feat for an independent company. You know, we're trying to grow and, and uh, kind of compete, play in the sandbox with the big boys. Uh, the Brimstone of the Border Hounds comic is uh, based on my former wrestling persona. has nothing to do with pro wrestling, thank God. I know everybody's like, oh, it's pro wrestling, don't read it. No, it actually has nothing to do with pro wrestling whatsoever. Um, we also have another couple of titles that we just signed on. Uh, although Brimstone of the Border Hounds is our flagship brand and it's internal, we're also doing um, a book called The Protector by Chris Notarelli Jr. and Sr., as well as M3, which is Erica Schultz and um, Vicente Alcazar. Vicente Alcazar was uh, actually one of the original artists for DC's Jonah Hex. So, you know, we have a lot of cool things going on. Our Hound Kids series um, just just launched on our one-year anniversary. Uh, October 31st, we launched Crash Bat uh, by um, Courtney Freeman and Teresa Finelli. It's the younger version of the Border Hounds, uh, which is a very, very cool thing. So this way, you know, the parents who are fans of the Border Hounds can actually read with their kids who can become fans of the Border Hounds. It's a very, very cool. Uh, people are loving the concept, so that's a big positive. Knock on wood, hopefully it'll stay that way. Uh, we also have our two uh, growing, uh, growing Up Giant and My Favorite Giant books, which are uh, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca from Star Wars. Um, we have Terry Naughton, our 17-year Disney animator. Uh, he worked on everybody from The Beast to Genie to uh, Zazu. I think you guys actually spoke with him uh, not too long ago. Yeah, we interviewed him yesterday. Yeah, he one of the most amazing cats ever. Um, he did the artwork on the My Favorite Giant book. And we also have um, Rich Aaron's book. Now, Rich Aaron's, if you're not familiar with him, he's the guy who helped to create the Animaniacs, Tiny Toons, Freakazoid. He worked on E-Man. Um, he worked on uh, Ice Age, and we have his book, Turby the Turtle Duck, as well. So we kind of have a big, vast series of projects that we have out, not counting the video games, not counting the animated series, the toys, and everything else. Yeah, it sounds like you got a lot of experience, pretty knowledgeable people about this particular industry. How, what is the, was the story behind like forming the company? Like, why'd you start it? Well, you know, I've, I've done a lot of different things. I've always loved comics. I've always loved um, animation and you know I always thought that the Brimstone character would be a very very cool comic book character forget about Brim forget about me in general the the comic book is just very very cool uh, I'm, I'm sorry the uh, the character is just very very cool so I said you know what I'm gonna see what I could do about getting something done and you know building this into something that could be fun you know maybe do something else um, <laughs> I called up a whole bunch of different artists I knew, um, one of them being Jacob Chaba, who does Mighty Skull Boy Army. He now does the X, uh, X Babies. Um, awesome cat. Uh, he did the first version of Brimstone as a uh, comic book character. I loved it. I said, this has to be done. So I called up one of my close friends, Marcello Carnavali, who is uh, one of the partners in the company. Uh, now, years later, uh, this, this was about six years ago, mind you, when we first started talking about this. So. Uh, Marcello loved the idea. We said, let's sit down, go over it, see what we come up with, and see what we could do. So the two of us sat down for what was supposed to be a, you know, an hour cup of coffee. We wound up sitting there for between three to six hours just hashing out the entire what is this entire universe and each character and so forth. We fleshed it all out. So, um, you know, that was basically history uh, where we sat down, we came up with everything, and then we said, well, now we got to find the team. So I went out, scoured the internet. I found Sajad Shah, who is our amazing artist, um, Alan Chickering, who's sitting right over here, our inker, and uh, Thiago Castro, who is our colorist. Um, let me tell you, we started really killing it. October 31st last year is when we officially launched the company and incorporated and so forth. And from here to there, you're talking about from one year's time, We've got all these books. We've got all the, you know, all the other people that we've signed on from the kids' books to this to that, and um, you know, we have a video game in production for Xbox and PlayStation. We have another video game for um, the iProducts and Android. You know, we have uh, all our books are going to iProducts and so forth. 
animated series, which is at a major network right now. I mean, Peter Mayhew is one of the voices. Chewbacca, Bumblefoot, lead guitarist from Guns N' Roses, does the theme music for us. We literally have gotten so much accomplished in one year. Um, and, you know, we, we are very proud of that. I hope I'm making sense. Oh, it makes perfect sense. It's really exciting, too, because, like, within one year, you've got so many different... Uh, projects that are going on yeah. and you really expanded like you took like Marvel like how many years to get them to do just one animated project and, and you got it already I mean games and everything that's really cool where do you see your company going in the next year like what's on the agenda for that well listen I'm one of those guys and I've been in the business for so long um, in, in entertainment in general is you never say you never speculate I'll never say well this is where we're gonna be where I'd like to see us is continuing the growth that we've been, you know, doing this past year, and we're really thinking that 2012 is again going to be the year of the hounds. We're going to continue to grow as a family. I mean, we started as, you know, five guys working on the book to a company of over 30. Um, we have satellite offices from New York to Austin, uh, to Little Rock, Texas, Miami, Florida, Brazil, Curitiba, Brazil. Um, I'm looking to expand, so we're going to continue to expand and. Basically, you're gonna have no, 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 no chance, no choice to, to, but to accept us. Yeah. So hopefully, you guys will give us a shout, though. Everything you've been talking about right now sounds really exciting, and personally, I'll be really looking forward to seeing what comes out in the next year. And I hope so too will our audience. Uh, thank you so much, Brim, for this interview. I appreciate it. Listen, make sure everybody checks out www.houndcomics.com, www.houndkids.com. And, uh, you know, if you really want to check me out, which would be cool too, entrance to hell.com, T-O, entrance to hell. It's called self-promotion. You don't do it, nobody's going to do it for you. We'll have uh, links in the description for all our fans. Very cool. I love you guys. Thank you Take so care. much. Take care.